everybody oops <laughs> I don't know if I'm focused <laughs> well anyway um, it's been about four and something weeks since my first outbreak um, the soil look uh, like today it's uh, one of my best days in a while uh, I found out that I have uh, eczema herpeticum which uh, a lot of people who have eczema, nor just normal like atopic eczema or just like dermatitis and then they get a virus, um, herpes virus, not the, uh, you know, yeah, it can be the STD, I don't have the STD one, it's like a herpes number one and it's fever blisters that I usually have around my lips or sometimes on my eye uh, so when we have the virus, you have it in your body and uh, when you're stressed or there are bad allergies or your immune system is messed up uh, they come out and then they very often bring out really bad eczema you have to be very careful with this stuff there's a kitty in the backyard, she's really cute <laughs> stretching um, you have to be really careful with that stuff because uh, you can, uh, the virus can actually spread hi kitty, she's so cute can she hear me? probably not um, even into your kidneys and stuff like that so uh, you gotta really seek attention of your doctor um, with the if you have an outburst of eczema herpeticum with the fever blisters and stuff you also have flu like symptoms which I had and I thought it's uh, because I'm uh, um, you know going through cortisone withdrawal um, so I had shivers I uh, was I couldn't sleep and I was swollen and I had um, also I thought it was hives but uh, they were a little supposedly acne um, anyway so that is under control with a certain medicine and hopefully one day I can find a natural way for that part but I haven't touched cortisones in over two months almost three months now um, yeah and I went to Chinese uh, medicine practitioners who told me that I have dry blood and just like everything is moving very slow in my body and the whole body is kind of inflamed from inside out and that's why uh, or um, skin is then inflamed and red they said that like my intestines are kind of working really slow and stuff like that which I'm like oh it should have seen me months ago when I ate a lot of sugar and flour but anyway uh, so they did they uh, gave me a tea that I've been drinking every day and it's supposed to you know help me kind of detox and stuff for now and then they'll see I'll go I'm going there next week again so it's every two weeks I spoke with them yesterday so um, actually the tea so far is doing the opposite for me but uh, they said just hang in there uh, and lowered my dose so we'll see I'll keep a post on that but I think I'm getting better maybe because of the tea but maybe also because of uh, like time and that the virus is gone now and uh, I've been really diligent with the diet just really not messing with that stuff so yeah We'll see, I keep you posted. I hope you guys are doing better. This is my face, this is the neck. It's looking much better. And the arm. I scratched it a little bit this morning. Usually when I wake up, it's completely fine. Bye, bye. 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 Uh, and then uh, when I wake up, I kind of tend to want to scratch it. So <laughs> then I'm pink when I go to work. But uh, anyway, so I hope uh, you're gonna have a nice spring. And how uh, many cases? Also, spring. <laughs> I've been uh, taking antihistamines. Well, uh, like a Benadryl and stuff like that. I try not to do it every day though. Uh, but some days are really bad. Like I'm crying. My nose is going crazy. So, yeah. okay, bye.